don't know. <laughs> then, that's probably what will happen next. Fast a half a second faster. Maybe <laughs> those waves are hard. If it was a bigger movement, now you know what's saving their gongs out. If you're trying to do that again. Oh, that's not what I thought you were. Oh no, I ended up coming down the other. Never mind, turn it over. Yeah, I ended up over here. <laughs>
Hey, you're bringing it to me back. Uh, I don't know, it's working. You're smart. This way. This way, huh? That was a thug. He just did not stop me. Ah. Uh, yeah, I told you I went down like I wanted. But I totally forgot about protecting yeah. myself. That's the view. I don't use that on people though. <laughs> I accidentally uh, did the other day. I didn't mean to, but I ended up hitting. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. And that's when it occurred to me, I was like, wow. That's why Beauty's the last one to teach. They don't, you know? You're messing around with it. And it's like, and they do it like this. It's, um, it's, uh, he's, he catches the hand here and lops into it. Well, I, dude, I can't even reach you. <laughs> but it's an overline. Oh, yeah, and then, uh, what was the other? Oh, the other thing I saw was they were using it for trapping. So, I don't know how to set it up, but. Yeah, maybe end up this arm here. And he does this. Yeah. I don't know. Trap. Maybe he's holding this one. I don't know, but it traps here. Just for one second. Bang. Sure. And that comes up. In that case, it's not even... I should probably... I would probably focus on the trap. You know what I mean? But if I could get this... Yeah. Like that. Kind of a thing. Or especially... Come down on the side of the neck. That's probably... I can't yeah, reach. I mean, I could. But then I'm going to... But I'm gonna probably pop my arm out of the socket. Yeah. Yeah, jump. And then I'll get my little hair. Jump like in uh, <laughs> the Mantis first form. Block. You grab behind the head. And uh, actually, there's one as a forearm smash. Uh, an 18 elbows to the right. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I stopped using that forearm thing. I know in, yeah. in some systems they have this rigid hand. Yeah. But I think that's. Yeah. I mean. Good for them, good for them, but yeah. like uh, I think I would use the case If I am like this, if I'm like that, I can still see the like that. Uh, if I am to catch you here, and then what? Come around like this? Yeah. I mean it, it would work, like it would work on like a drunk guy at a bar. But from here I should go straight to the head or even to the center. Yeah, can you, if you're already tied up, you know, I wouldn't swing all the way around because you have like ten minutes to do this. <laughs> You know, well, check it out. Because here's a, yeah. or, your, or your other hand. Yeah, I mean, you have two hands. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, and if I do, and if I do hit you, and once I hit you yeah. here, if I hit you here, I'm probably gonna break my, I'm gonna hurt myself. Yeah. You're better off using this joint right here, where you're coming, uh, coming up right there. That's much more solid. Or if you use your, uh, oh, the, the, the bend of my yeah. yeah, or use this bone on the end of your skyboard process. You but even just slapping it doesn't much. I'll just stay with punch. I'll use the end of the radius right there. <laughs> ah, yeah, but just just slapping it hurts. There's a if there's someone behind you, grabbing you somehow, and you get them in this like lock right here. Oh, so I got a gift. Yeah, yeah. And you whack them with the groin, with it, <laughs> and then you whack them with the head with it. That's all it is. A good template. Thing. Well, but now here you're hitting me with the forearm. That's yeah. that, I'm, I'm okay with that. Can, and then you I'm okay that, with that. And you can carry around and do that. Bro. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't mind forearm. In fact, I think about that a lot. Yeah, with forearm with like, if I end up in a really stupid position, like let's say I, I'm sideways kind of and I bonks out this arm. Okay, I'm really bad. But what I will do is try to go straight this way from yeah. here. Like, because now here I'm here, but if you go to strike with that arm, I can't really do that. And this arm, I can't reach yet, really. But from here, I can try and just go straight. Yeah. Maybe I'll hit this. If I get but the, if you uh, follow the arm up, you really can't miss. And if you... You know, it doesn't really matter what you hit with. Yeah. But on this side, yeah, this hurts and... Yeah, this is a tank suit where they do that, rich hand strength a lot. Yeah. I, 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 I don't think I'll mess with that. I never leave it too much. Except like... First, in tank suit, they don't, they don't strike the head you, either. And you already get them by you, and they won't buy you. Yeah. That's but use your hand. Right? Well, if I got you like here, this... Here I am, I'm going by. I'm throwing you by you. You may as well use I your open palm. If I do that, yeah, no. that's good too. But you can still do this round my whole momentum. Do that well, and do that with the. Uh, you can still do that with the palm. Yeah, or, no, I guess I wouldn't. I guess I wouldn't use a fist that way. Maybe this, yeah. But at least you gotta hit them somewhere soft if you're gonna use it. Under the 
fills from right there. Yeah. Did you hit there? The whole bone right there? Well, at the end of the conception vessel? Yeah. The governing vessel? I, I hit myself there one time working, and oh my god, I know why yeah. it's on the chart. I mean, yeah, I, I, it's in the book of um, the pressure points where it's attacking. Yeah. Yeah. When we were kids, <laughs> I used to be all wrestle with my dad, and he used to always he'd get us like this. And then push? And push, and be like, ah, ah. <laughs> get everyone yeah. like that all the time. So, but it, and I, I've seen the, the, some Dumont techniques where they he actually uses a panther fist and he rakes across it. Ooh. But like, that's, but that's got to take some. That's got to take, take some accuracy. Yeah. yeah. Very good accuracy. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff. I, I saw in, in Wing Chun they have a cool thing, but it takes, but it just looks so hard for me. If you were to do it, so you do like a like a round house kick from there, they catch this and kick at the same time. Oh, sure. But man, that is. Crazy. Like, I think you'd be better off if you're doing that to just come straight yeah. or to even just kick straight to the arm, even with minimal block over here. Yeah. Because, um, but but in the wooden dummy, they have that. It goes from here and it side kicks. And that's what it's for. So this, you know, redirects their kick and this kicks their other leg. But, yeah. I don't know, that's too hard for me. I think if someone was in the position of going to kick like that, I would probably just charge straight in. Or yeah, try, or try and kick their balls. other leg, or yeah, yeah, but that looks a little, little yeah, difficult. You, you gotta be careful blocking the kick like that. But one good thing about that is if you have, if you have your, the bend of your elbow up like that, degree. if Don't you can, them. oh god, yeah. I one time I, I went to do that roundhouse kick this one, and then and at this point of his elbow <laughs> caught me right in the center <laughs> of my ankle right here. Yeah. Oh my god, I was like being paralyzed. <laughs> I was just like Oof, down. <laughs> I was done for a good a couple minutes. And he didn't even mean to do it. He was just trying to block my kick. Yeah. And he's like, what the hell happened? Oh, speaking of it, I wanted to ask you. Step guards in, your, in your hungar, I noticed that when you bring your arms up, you kind of bring them up. And I, just as I was watching it, I was thinking, when I practice that, that same kind of motion, I didn't see a lot of schools do that. And they keep their arms low a lot. Yeah. But if you instead go straight back and only rotate here, you drive your elbow straight back. That can become a very useful back strike. Yeah, definitely. yeah. and even, see, even here, they're, they're still kind of bent, which which says, like, it's kind of going up. But if the more straight back you can get it, just like the punch, so the punch is straight out, and this is just straight back. Um, but yeah, it looks like, I mean, especially in, like, the slum town and stuff like that, they do that over and over again. So after you have done this a thousand times in your life, you know, you probably don't need to really. It's not like you need to build up and hit them. But yeah. I was thinking about that when I watched that. Like, yeah, there's uh, a couple of things you do that. that. One, if you do it the way you punch it with the other hand, it gives you like a counter balancing force on the other side. So if you're looking down from overhead, it's much more powerful than just punching with this so hand. So it helps maintain your balance. Uh, both, yeah, because uh, now you're, you're rotating board. on both sides of your spine, so you're incorporating all the muscles on this side too, as well as this side. So your punch yeah. is a lot more powerful. And I don't usually strike like that, so I guess I maybe that's why. I don't have uh, much of a use for it in, the, in that technique anyway, but el as an elbow straight back, I think it's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. well, definitely. It's just, yeah, just straight, like or as straight as you can, and so you're just rotating the shoulder straight back, and as everything else with which, you know, they're pretty bad to that. But, I, uh, I was watching uh, David Peterson, and he said his teacher one time was practicing with a friend is, and the guy grabbed him from behind, and he just broke the ribs, <laughs> you know, and I was like, yeah, I mean, I can picture these guys, like, he probably wasn't uh, trying to break his ribs, he just, yeah, he's done this hundred times, so he didn't have to think about it, it's just like, oh, right. Yeah, I like to use uh, this one, good for getting out of a tank, when you drop it in the horse stance, and you pull uppercuts, out of, like, somebody grabbing your, gra grabbing from behind, oh, 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 I had uh, a buddy who was a big football player, he's a pretty big guy, and uh, he knew I was into martial arts a little bit, so one day we were at a party, so I was hanging out. So he comes in behind me and tries to get me in his, in his bear hug and says, There's no way you're getting out of this. And I went, Okay. Stop <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it. He was right well, off. Well, yeah, because yeah. I guess the, you, know, you have a lot of power yeah. here. If he had grabbed you around this way, yeah. I don't know, you know, it may be hard to pull off. Yeah, if he would maybe lift me up, it probably would yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, I would no, still be able sense, to drop down. If you are relaxed here, you can really rotate that joint. And as long if as you're dropping down at the same time, his arms would have come right up. Yeah, yeah. His yeah. Arms it's all about out. the quickness, too, because he didn't expect it. If yeah. you tried to do it slow, I'm sure he'd be able to resist. Hmm. All that I thought, like, um, to charge back into their stands, you know, so this, 
your technique is very rooted down, and I was thinking like uh, kind of the same, but I bring my elbows up here and, and move back into their stand. Uh, because if you obviously if you that. try and go forward, uh, they will you know that will help them get you because now your now your your spine is uh, not broken, but you know your balance. You, you don't have a straight spine anymore, so you're kind of screwed uh, if you lean over. But if you charge straight back into them, and I seen actually some, some people lean first to get them think you're moving forwards, and, and that makes them then you know, headbutt them in the face mm. because that that initial thing makes them think they're going forward, yeah, so yeah. Them forwards, and then they. You know, it's like double the impact of the nose. Smash the nose and the back of the head. Boom. Smash the nose and the back of the head. Whatever you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> I learned really good when I was uh, in a free month on the camp hall. I was placed down the street. Something from behind. I think it was all that, like an arm bar. Like, it was just my arm up here. Maybe behind my back. It was, a, it was an elbow. Yeah. And then a back fist that extended out from that. Yeah. And then... Well, hang on. Let me push fist. harder. Because <laughs> you're like, I'm push, pushing you up here. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then from there, they actually held on, I think. Oh, right. So I'm still holding, so you have me trapped. And then came out here. And it was just like, boom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a couple yeah. things. That's a nice little technique. Sure, sure. I, um... In the, I noticed in the Wing Chun where they have the, the whole second section of Sun Tao's recovery, and they do this arm thing. So if you were doing that to me, right, so you're getting me, they push down. Oh, okay. Okay, and if you get it, if you start to get up really high, I might even bend over. If the more you push me over, the easier it should be. It's like this. Oh, yeah. That's great. And, it's like, and, that's, and they have, because they do one, two, three, four, that kind of a thing. Yeah, and it works pretty cool. And if you, you know, if you're lucky, you will hit them with your shoulder too. But at the very least, it does seem to you relax down into their thing. And if they're pushing your their arm up, you go up with it because you're pulling my hand. Good, here, oh, so you're pulling up. Do you want me to go up? I go up with you. Yeah. You know? And obviously, as far as you need to, and then whatever you're going to do after. But um, so in a lot of ways, if you're bent, if they're trying to bend you over like this, it's actually even easier. Yeah, if you the, 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 the further you're bent over. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, it does the recording. Yeah. Let's <laughs> turn into I mean, push, hands cool dis chat. push hands discussion at these. Oh, that's cool. I